Hi guys, just a quick one today. Um, have you experienced excessive smoking on startup from your diesel heater? Now what it could be is your pump not sealing correctly. So obviously when you switch your pump off, just wait for that car to go past, when you switch your pump off and your diesel heater off and it stops, obviously your pump is designed to be a seal to stop the diesel coming out. But you get a siphoning effect. So if your seals are starting to wear slightly in the pump, um, you'll get a, a minute amount of diesel passing into your burn chamber. Now sometimes it'll leak out into the exhaust, so you'll have a, a bit of diesel in your exhaust, or it'll leak out through your air inlet side, like the, um, for the where the air filter is on the pipe. Um, which is what I've experienced. Now the easiest way to remedy this is change the pump or you could put a fuel isolator valve uh, on the inlet side from the tank so where your diesel tank is and the um, you've got the flexible rubber hose going into your tank tap that off, put an isolator so every time you turn your diesel heater off you can isolate the fuel and it will stop the um, the siphoning effect. Now I'm going to bite the bullet and change the diesel pump. Obviously there's loads on eBay but the majority of them are advertised as from 1 kilowatt up to 5 kilowatt or 5 kilowatt up to 8 kilowatt. Now what that means is the pump will either pump 16 millilitres of uh, fuel, 22 millilitres of fuel or 25 millilitres of fuel. Some of them they're advertising as 2 kilowatt heater pumps but they're pumping 22 so I'm going to get the pump off, find out exactly what it is. I presume it's a 16 millilitre pump and then I will order one of the newer silent pumps to try and cut down on the noise. It's fairly quiet anyway because it's mounted outside. But um, I've disconnected the diesel pipe from the actual pump um, and I've put a little screw <clears throat> in the end of the rubber pipe and connect there, tightened up the Jubilee clip just to stop any fuel leaking out of there. Um, I've burned off the excess fuel in the pump and the pipe going up to the diesel heater so when I take that off I'm not going to have any more diesel leaking out onto my drive. But I'll just uh, get under the van and I'll show you what it's actually done. Now as you can see under the van, on the end of the exhaust there, there where the, the bend is, there's actual diesel and it's coated all of my exhaust. And what it's done, it's leaked out of the inlet pipe, the inlet air uh, pipe drip down onto the exhaust so I've disconnected this and I'm going to take the pump out take the pump out there to check what size it is all right now that's the pump out and as you can see just there it says that this is the uh, 16 millilitre 12 volt pump obviously these diesel heaters you can swap over to 24 volts but obviously if the pump isn't rated at that it won't work um, so I'll just show you something now as you can see this is a clean tissue now this pump is designed to form a seal between the inlet and the outlet and it works by a little piston inside operated by a magnet that when it passes an electric current it goes up and down, up and down sorry I'm moving the camera just to demonstrate because I've got my camera in one end and the pump in the other but the piston goes in, out, in, out causing it to suck fuel out the one side and blow it out the other now when it's switched off it should stop the fuel so regardless of where the tank is you won't get any siphon effect um, of fuel passing through the pump. Alright I was going to show you 
uh, on the white tissue but you couldn't see it really well so I've got a little bit of um, blue kitchen roll um, now, as you can see the uh, just there and there the wet patches now obviously this is still a dribble of diesel inside the pump um, you ain't going to get it all out when it's uh, working but um, if you blow down the end and anything comes out this end then obviously you know that the seal isn't working and when it's all connected you're going to get um, the siphon effect so even when the pump stops you're going to get just wait for that car to pass you're going to get a small amount of diesel passing through the pump into the burn chamber now it may just stay in the chamber depending on which way you've got it mounted it may um, come out the exhaust it may feed back and come through the inlet side but you're going to get a build up of diesel in the burn chamber so when you start up you get a hell of a lot of smoke and depending on how long it's sat before you try and start it up um, can result in uh, wonderful wonderful effects which looks like your van's bursting into flames because of the amount of smoke it literally yeah it looks like someone's put a smoke bomb under your van when you've been left when it's left a couple of days right a few days have passed since um i took the pump off um i did manage to find one um which i ordered off ebay when it turned up they sent the wrong one um, so I sourced another one uh, from a company called Leisure Vehicle Accessories um, where they're based yeah so basically they're, they're online online company um, so I'm just looking <laughs> looking at the receipts here um, but they'd actually got the all the pumps in stock 16 milliliter um, pump uh, 22 and uh, I think it was 28 um, in stock and I paid with delivery £17.09 which ain't too bad considering yeah it's helping a UK company out a little little small business yeah it was a little bit more expensive than eBay but I've got the right part at the end of the day so I'll just show you this now Right, as you can see there, 12 volt, 16 milliliter, which is what you need. If you, it, I could have gone with the 22, um, it would have done it, but it would have overfueled. You, what you have to do then, you have to go into the settings and increase the the fan speed and decrease the pulse rate. So instead of it pulsing um, so many times a minute. Uh, you have to like decrease it so as you're not actually getting the quantity of fuel so it, it's not worth messing about um, so I was looking for the uh, the silent pumps but uh, I couldn't get one of those that was less than a, a 22 now um, I'll, say, I'll just show you here this is the company Leisure Vehicle Accessories um, they're based down south somewhere but they do um, Belt components, camping components, mounted around components, and they sent me a couple of leaflets with it. And they do C line parts, which is um, yeah, elect various electrical components, uh, as you can see there. And they also stock a wide range of solar products. And what I did notice was they did little wind turbines. That you can put on your boat or I presume if you wanted to you could make a port have a portable one and um, stick it on a pole at the back of your van when you're parked up somewhere something different wouldn't it right I say but the company there basically they're trying to reduce plastic um, so everything they when they send it out everything's in paper and cardboard it just say that if they have to use plastic they'll wrap something up in cling film but it's very rare um, so basically anything they buy in they they repackage it and send it out in paper and a cardboard box right then 
I'll get under the van and fit this then. Oh, by the way, I did also buy the um, the, the cowl. It's like a cover that goes over it, a, a rubber cover to cut down on the noise. Um, but I, I bought that. I thought, well, while it's underneath the van, mounted outside, it'll protect it, stop the terminals getting a bit grotty and getting them damp and that lot. But uh, I'll show you that in a minute as I'm refitting it back on. Right, let's get under the van and I'll show you what I'm doing. All right, there you go. Back inside now. Diesel heat is running. Um, I say I've had it running for about an hour and a half now. Um, ticking away nicely in the background. Um, I may have to adjust the settings. It doesn't appear to be getting as hot as the uh, the previous pump. Obviously, they're made in a factory. They're all made in China. You don't know the exact quantity. They say they're 1.6 millilitres of uh, fuel. It could be put in a little bit less, could be put in a little bit more. Um, but obviously the 2.2 milliliter model, that literally would have flooded the uh, the burn chamber. As I say, I've, I've got this one in, it's running. Um, no smoke. Um, so, as I say, touch wood. Um, everything should be all right with this one. Now, if you've enjoyed the video, um, if you don't mind, just give it a thumbs up. If you've got any comments or questions, just stick them in the comments section below. There's also, I think there's 45, 46 videos at the moment on my van build, what I've done, all the little extras, how I've built it, what I've done or to it. Um, basically, everything to do with the build. There's a couple more to come with my fridge, my toilet, my shower screen, um, but then it'll be um, me actually putting it all together, putting the mattresses in, putting the cushions in which I've got, um, putting all the little tweaks and doing a little shakedown trip. So if you'd like to subscribe you'll be able to catch up on the next few videos, click the notification bell and then as I upload the next video you'll get a little message telling you what I've done. So catch you all later guys, hope you've enjoyed it again and I'll see you again.